Yep, give her a tr sit and move off again. Well, look at that, calm dog. Brilliant, love that. Right, so now we'll go and get, and just stop there. So that's it, stop there, and just wait. So we just move Paddington away, that's all. Down for now. So now when you get to this path, you turn around. Brilliant, well done. And then come back down. That's brilliant, well done. So you can see, just if she gets a bit stuck and focused, just move off and get her back focused on you. Loving the focus with Paddington on you as well, so that's good. Excellent. Yeah, and so at the moment, there's no pressure. Lyra's in, I mean, look, Lyra's got a very happy mouth. You know, she really wants to go over and say hello. Yeah, she, her mouth's open, she's, she's, you know, she wants to go play. So move off again. So that's it. Right, so keep moving. That's it. That's it. So keep moving off that way. And just keep walking further. That's it. Well done. Keep moving. Keep going. So what we're looking for is for her to get back focused on you. Brilliant. Yep, now turn around and come back down a bit. Yep. Oh, but she's still focused on you, even with the pigeon. Brilliant. Excellent. So you see now, just by moving away, as she got a little bit excited, she wants, she, obviously, she wants to go and say hello. Yeah. And she's like, oh, we just broke it. Yeah. So give her a call. So me can either move off, either, that's it, keep going. Keep going and keep walking down there. Brilliant. Love that. And Paddington did really well. Loving that focus. So we've got Lyra focused on you, we've got Paddington focused on you. So what I would like you to do now is just step onto this front bit. I love the fact that we're not on a, we can get away with this on the road. So that's it, so just be there. That's it. Now you stay there for now. We'll move her in a minute. We'll move, we'll move Lyra next. She's focused on you, so that. Every time she looks away, and focuses back on you. Day one, we're going to reward. Day two, we might just say good girl. And day three, we'll just might move closer. So what we're gonna use here is what we call environmental rewards. We're gonna move closer as the reward. And ultimately the idea is that the greeting becomes the reward for calmness. So what we're saying to Lyra is, you can greet Paddington when you're calm. And we're saying to Paddington, if it's nice and calm, there's no pressure on you, and Lyra's not getting too overexcited, which means she's going to maybe jump or pounce or get too rambunctious. It's just a nice, calm greeting. But both dogs are very chilled. I love that. Again, once more. Run out of oh, okay. I've got loads inside. That's all right, don't worry. So there you go. Got that. Yep. Yep. So that's it. So just nice and, and steady. And then just, when you get sort of level, I just want you to stop. So just stop there. Hold their both attention. I say keep very close on that. If one looks as though, I mean, I don't think Paddington's going to pull over, but if Lyra sort of looks to move, if you see a move towards, I just want you to move off. Just give her a, a like a this way and just move off up, up the path. That's it. So she's focused on you. We've got um, Paddington focused there. So that's good. Good boy. Yes, good girl. So again, good boy. love that. I mean, she's actually looking at me as opposed to Paddington. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Good. And then move off again. Brilliant. So that's it. So if you just come back down to your position here, you've got Paddington really focused there. So that's it. So that's it. Just stop there. So it's all about working within each dog's tolerance level of where we can be. So like I say, I like you being in between yeah, Lyra, uh, so you can be the barrier. So then he doesn't feel that he has to make a decision himself yeah. because you can make it for him. You can just quickly go that way. Yeah. yeah. So again, if you just come closer again, so get stop there. That's it. So that's good focus there. 
So it's just like hold there for a bit. That's it. That's it. Just take some of that's it. Just keep that. You, you want the lead so you've got enough control, but not so there's too much there. tension. So you want it slightly loose lead. So that's fine. There's no there's no tension on it. So there you go. What are we? Four feet apart. And everyone's comfortable. So I'm loving that. She's focused on you. Paddington's focused on you. And then the idea what you will do is you will go on walks together. Yeah. Like this with dog, person, person, dog. Yeah. And you just go on walks together. Okay. So you get them used to being in each other's um, proximity. Yeah. They don't need to go nose to nose or nose to bum just yet. We're just letting them build that bond of friendship so they can work out what each other are doing. I love the focus that Lyra's got on you and that focus from Paddington is amazing. Mm. So this time, what I want you to do, this is going to be a bit more challenging. I, I kind of want you to go diagonally backwards towards that big tree okay. and you're going to come sort of towards me this way. So you're going to pass each other. Yep. Whereas last time we, we went away from each yep. other, we're just going to move off as they were passing. Okay. okay? Yep, you come towards me and you go the other way. Yep, I am absolutely loving that. That is brilliant. Good boy. Right, how does that feel? I feel like I'm breathing out rather than in. Yeah, rather than being like. Yeah? So does that feel good? How did that feel for you? Yeah, like she is just. She just walked off rather than being like pulling. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the key thing, we're going at the dog's pace. So we're making it easy for the dog to understand what we want without pushing them too far. But yeah, loving that, that was great.